Good evening everyone! Time for a new season again. Well, let's have a look. This time it's the gourmet season. Once again, I hope I pronounced that correctly and that would be a rerun indeed. We did have it before, that's with the soup, soup mita and all that. We're gonna go through this soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through because I don't have a video of this. So just take a look at what we have here. Um, oh right, so yeah, starting here we have a standalone thing here, we have order a cake, that's Amy's Cake Company, by the way, you can get a rainbow cake from that thing, and you're paying in either way, so yeah, that depends on if you want it or not, um, probably just leave, it's a scam basically, it's kind of funny, it's like Dolph doing his scamming stuff, uh, eating contest, uh, that's like a, uh, similar to the, what's it called? Uh, Cecil's performance, right? So you have like a bunch of different outcomes there. So you can obviously take part, that's you recover some HP, then you can get some silver coins, start an elite battle, or nothing. But there's nothing bad that can happen here, so that's pretty nice. Grocery selling, buy a pound of meat, buy vegetables, buy condiments, or leave. And that would cost you a different amount of silver coins, so you can buy some different artifacts here. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see here, let me just fix this while we're at it. And wanna highlight that so it's maximum. There we go, bold, nice. Oopa, and we need this one as well to be bold. Otherwise, I will be annoyed, and I don't want to be annoyed. There we go, nice. So there's that. You can get the flesh piece, the predation flower, or mandrake, or the blessing of cooking god. That's nice, I guess. And then you have the this thing here, tell the fortune, which unlocks. Cloud with a chance of food, and you have some different things there. Way bread, by the way, is awesome. And let's unbold this thing here. Um, we're gonna go through the artifacts too. But yeah, that's the that's the ones there. And let's see here. Yeah, this one is not related to the one we we thought so last time, but nah, wasn't. Uh, so here's a long one here, and hopefully it's gonna take a lot less time today or this time around because they did some changes last time. You uh, had no choice but to. Uh, just grind it. I think it took 12 hours or something crazy for me to do it. It really sucked, but mm, Well, I don't think that's gonna be an issue anymore because they have made it so if you have the quest item or whatever you, and If it's a chain you're gonna be more likely to get it. So it's a lot easier So let's start man on the ground and then you share the food with the man on the ground and he gets a bottle caps nice And you need one of the food related artifacts by the way that would be uh, yeah, the way bread or, or something like that, one of those that comes with a season basically. Wandering Gourmet, that would be <clears throat> accepting, and then you unlock five events 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, and A. So let's have a look here. Oh, right, so there's like a fork here. <laughs> Pun intended. So uh, you have these uh, three here, which is like you need to do them all, if I remember correctly. Step four, heartbroken as on of game all the dishes. Yeah, so you need to do all of this. So uh, I would suggest that you have the thing where you can start with an artifact, and um, then you do the other one where you can keep an artifact. So then you start and keep like two or out of three of these, and then you just like spam, um, you know, the first floor or of the uh, first difficulty. You just farm that, goes faster, and once you have all of these, you get this. Oh no! Wait, what? Huh? Ah, right. So I believe this is the one you, that you need to do. Right, right, right. So yeah, okay. So now I get it. Yeah, yeah. So you have this thing here. You give the ingredient, and then you get the predator salad. And you can only get the predator salad from this place, like doing those actual chains. And those are repeatable later on as well. By the way, that's the way to actually get these ones. Right. And then you get the amplified version of this, or whatever you want to call it. And then you bring that with you. To this one, yeah. And then you want that thing where you can keep an artifact, by the way, because then you obviously keep this in farm floor one again once you get them. Right, cool, nice, okay. So, you need to give all the three dishes. That's the thing, right. And when you're done with that, you can move on to Heartbroken Gourmet. Cheer them up. Look, dark cooking. And they've changed this as well now, so you don't need to... Um, I think the one that actually matters is... Let's see here. Right, it's the one here. No way, what? Huh? Ah, this one here, yeah, yeah. Once you get to these ones, you can just like farm floor one again for this one and keep that pie from Edge of Hell with you. 
Uh, you don't need to go through all this again, so that's also a nice change that it did. Uh, Mouthwatering news comes after, and that would be just from Dungeon Kingdom that's unlocked, and that's... Right. To be... Let's see here. This event may appear before we get to 6. Yeah, so you need to complete this one before, and then when you do ask him to cook, then you're indeed going to get the bottle caps and Hell's Kitchen. Nice. So, and unlocks is not supposed to be bold. That was my bad, and neither are these little things. Oop. There we go. Okay. Um, right. So, um, when that's done, you get the Hell's Kitchen. That's a repeatable one, of course, and that's how to get the special raid artifact, special meat pie. So, that's nice. And then, of course, the last, very last one is where you give the special meat pie to. Um, to him, and then you get the Top Chef uh, benefit, which we can see down here. 50% HP on enemy kill. Oh, that is so broken. That is so good. Right. So, yeah. I would suggest, like, when you have mm, this step... One second. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so, when you have this step here, um, you should just farm floor 1 for the flesh piece, so you can get this one on floor 1, the special meat pile, because it's a special great artifact, so you can't like bring it with you on a new round, and then you just complete the run and hope that you get this thing here. That would be the best idea for that. I think I did 3 runs or something before I did it last time, but that's obviously not going to happen this time, because they did those changes, so yeah, there's that. Uh, so, what's good there if we just look down here? We only have two things here, but that's not only two, it's actually amazing. So, yeah. You want to have the top chef, it's amazing. Also, attack increased by 100% of HP buffs in Camazon. So, yeah, you just want to stack the HP. Which brings us, of course, to the artifacts. So we can actually start in the bottom. We have the Waybread, which is max HP increases by 3% after each battle, which is also really cool. So, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. So basically after each battle you get 3% more attack which is pretty cool and so stacking waybread early on uh, like starting out with a waybread is even a good idea honestly um, or if you obviously want to go with a double soup meter which could take a little while to farm but that's pretty awesome that's how I did the solo with Beth on on Conquer um, but anyways let's see here we go upwards here so that's with waybread then a soup from another dimension which is really amazing amazing uh, dimension, by the way, I don't know, that's a misspell, so if Kakao is watching this or Kong fix, please. Party takes 30% damage at the start of each battle. Yeah, so it's kind of like a Berserker Max, but it's better. Uh, so there's two thresholds here, so it's gonna be like 240% and 60% defense. So yeah, pretty disgusting stuff going on there. Um, indeed. So having two of these, of, of, of course, and then you don't need the Scorched Stigma. So then you're going to automatically lose 60% HP to get down below 50, of course, that's 40. And then you're just going to activate this thing and be immortal and just kill everything, it's just amazing. Um, then, of course, all the Waybreads too. And you don't need to have a Gnome Panopticon with you, since you already have the 50% of kill from the Top Chef, if you go that far, which I do recommend. So there's that. Um, then we have the Predator Salad, which is 80% HP, which is nice, of course. And then you have the 20% HP on kill. That's pretty cool, too. The Magiton Supplement is also a new one. That's 40% attack, 40% defense, and 20% crit. That's not bad. Um, and then we have the Flesh Piece, of course. That's 20% defense. Recover 10% of maximum HP. And heal at the battle end. Yeah, I mean... You should get one of these. I would say get one of these because you get some defense and then you can just keep that with you in case you get into this one and then you can, you know, get that one which is nice. Because HP, remember, equals um, equals attack if you have that other benefit. So definitely worth it to keep that thing with you. And other than that, we of course have this Dragon's Blood that's 15% fire attack. Uh, I think we already have another 15 hot transmitters. I think that's actually replaced. Uh, so let's fix that actually. I'm just gonna <clears throat> assume that's indeed the case. Uh, let me just take that. Uh, I'm just gonna take this whole thing and just put it down here. <clears throat> As a little. Just to save it. Uh, where is it? Uh, there. Yeah. Okay. 
There was another one as well, of course. That's the blessing of cooking god. Uh, that's twenty percent heal. Okay, chair of oblivion. That's also gone. So let's take the chair of oblivion and put it in the bottom two. But yeah. So um, as for the meta for this season, I would definitely say that would be the soup and all that stuff. Uh, it's just crazy. And yeah, the reason I'm just flying through this is because we obviously had it before, so it just doesn't really require a video, I guess. But I figured we don't have a video for this, so let's just make one. Mm, what else can I say? Oh yeah, I'm pretty hyped about <clears throat> when they're going to make the remake of the revamp of that holiday season with the safe and the bank owner's rifle and all that kind of stuff. I remember that one, but I think they're not going to do it until probably Christmas times. Uh, so I think we're just going to have some rerun on, on all this now. But that's fine. I don't mind. And yeah, what do we have here now? Hmm. There we go. Huh? Wait, that makes no sense. How did that get messed up? Uh... Ah, let's just fix this. You should be there. I think this one should be here. Something is happening here. Uh, let's just, yeah. I'm too lazy to actually care right now. We want to take the yellow one. <laughs> Um, weird. Anyhow, see you all tomorrow. Hype, maybe not the most exciting update of all, but you know, at least it's some new content. So, good luck with all the summons and whatever you're gonna do. And yeah, take care, everyone. And good night. Also, No Time to Die, I watched that in the cinema today, and that was really good. A masterpiece, I would have to say, among those new James Bond movies. So, can really recommend that. Okay, I've been talking for way too long. I need to sleep. So, good night.